Our view crew is back, baby. Back, baby. We got the uh, Maui Burst Mountain Dew exclusive um, from Dollar General. Um, a little side story about this drink. It's very hard to get. Um, I think we went to like five different stores, uh, made like five phone calls, um, some funny uh, stories from those trips. Um, first one being from the phone call. Um, as I called the store, you know, told them about the drink, um, asked them if they had it in stock. I got an answer of no, um, but it was no with a kind of like a question mark. So she definitely had no idea what I was talking about and just decided to say that they didn't have it. And then, um, you know, another story is we called them and they said they did have it. So we raced there after work one day, um, got to the store. All the way to um, Worcester, yeah. half hour drive, yeah. half hour drive. In rush hour traffic. So yeah, definitely wasn't great. They said they had, they had some in the cooler. So we got there, fully expected to see some get there. Nothing's in the coolers. Except for one solo can. Which was not in a cooler though, that we found. And of course you can't do a review on a warm drink um, with only one drink too. Um, but luckily, you know, we do have them today. Um, on my way home from that day, actually, I was able to find um, a store that had a bunch. So we're here today doing the review. Um, same thing. Uh, look, smell, and taste. So here we go. Here's the here's the look. This can's really cool looking to me. Um, you know, it's called the Maui Burst. I was just in Maui, um, so definitely gonna get some brownie points from me on the rating. Um, love the tiki guy. He's even got a nose ring. Um, which, Alvin Kamara. Yeah, Alvin Kamara, Ezekiel Elliott. Um, they should have just put one of their faces on there instead, honestly. <laughs> Um, maybe they could have got a little NFL advertising promo out of that. Um, you know, there's some um, coconuts and actually no, it's a pineapple, um, <laughs> which would make sense because it is pineapple flavor. Um, but I like the look of this can. It's like a yellowish gold, um, all around color with the green. Um, this might be one of my highest ratings. I'm going to say it's a, a 9.6. That's a solid, solid review. And I would agree 100%. Um, got the Alvin Kamara right there. And uh, if I turn the can a little bit, see the nice coconut there. <laughs> um, one of the things that Ryan was saying earlier was we like the cans better because the whole entire can is your canvas to design. You know, we don't really like the bottles as much because all you can, you know, make a design on is the paper. And uh, we don't, uh, that's that's not as enough uh, enough surface area to really give a good rating to. But since this is the can, it is beautiful. The color scheme is great. It's a nice, exciting design. Um, I'm gonna give it a 9.4. Awesome, so two high ratings there. Uh, we'll go on for the smell now. Best noise. Ooh. I smelt it without even putting my nose next to it, so it's definitely a strong, strong smell. Do smell pineapples. Don't smell coconuts. <laughs> Just in case anybody was wondering. Yeah, I do like that smell. Um, not too much besides the pineapple flavor. Um, not gonna be highest score here, but 7.8 for the smell. Yep, definitely pineapple. I like that. It's a pretty good smell. Um, I give it a uh, 7.3. Great. Um, so now what it do, what it do. It's time for another do review. On the Maui Do Crew. Here we go. I actually really like this. Um, I saw some reviews online and I think they were actually pretty spot on. Um, it tastes like a traditional dew with a little hint of pineapple in there. Um, it's not overpowering pineapple taste, so I kind of actually like that because some of our previous um, reviews like the Voodoo had a really strong, um, you know, orangey, skittles, skittles taste. taste that kind of was just overpowering in a way. Um, this one's not too overpowering. I'm going to do my final review in as a 8.3 for the taste. Ooh. All right, here we go. All 
That was pretty good. And um, I'm tasting less of the dew, more of the pineapple. So I agree with you partly, just not as strongly, I guess. But I still really like the taste. I'd have to give this a 7.9. Great. Well, there's a review. Cheers. Maui Burst. Stay tuned for the bonus review coming up next. We got a, uh, a guest reviewer today. His name's Tyler Bland, and he's going to be reviewing the new Maui Burst Mountain Dew. Um, we'll remind him of the three grading scales that we use. The look, the taste, and the smell. Um, so first we'll do the look. Yeah, I really like the design of this can. It's definitely not traditional. So I'd probably give it a 8.92. Pretty high. Yeah, I really like it. Now let's do the smell. The smell? Wow, it's pretty strong actually. I can't really think about what it smells like, but wow, it's pretty good. So uh, let's get into the taste. All right, what it do, what it do. It's time for another do review. A little disappointing to say the least, actually. Really? Doesn't I was, taste I very was good? hoping for a better score than this, actually. Oof. What's your uh, uh, score on the taste? I'd have to give it a six and a half, honestly. That's it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Nice. Thanks for having me, review crew.